Hi there, this is Emmanuel from Vivit. Quick tour of the app. So Vivit is a thought capture app. We are really there to help users capture the instant ideas, thoughts, things they want to remember, new knowledge in an instant way and keep it organized, in fact. So the way it works is that each thought is captured through one of those little cards that are created by tapping on the Vivit button here. And each time you create a new card, it's displayed on your timeline uh, exactly at the time and date it was created for the first time. So it looks really like a long Twitter thread that will show you uh, all your thoughts, basically, uh, as, when they, as when they were created. As you can see, there are many blue links here. So if I click on uh, Matt Slater here, I can see what we call the, the snapshot of Matt Slater. And Matt Slater is in my contacts. And any thought I created uh, from Matt Slater's snapshot, like uh, here, is linked to Matt Slater. So we can see here there's a little chip uh, Matt Slater. And uh, for example, if I tap on blockchain here, then I see any thought I have taken on the blockchain. And if I tap on Series A Pitch Star VC, this brings me to uh, this specific meeting. So these are the, the three type of snapshots we have uh, in Vivid. So we have a meeting snapshot like this one, and it's extracted from my calendar, actually. We have a topics snapshot, uh, such as blockchain here, which is extracted from Wikipedia. And we have people snapshots like this one, which, is, which are extracted from my contacts. The last type of snapshot is what we call the thread. Okay, so what is a thread? A thread is uh, exactly like this one that is created in the middle called business ideas. So this is just a regular thought. Uh, if I edit it, I see it here. But the difference is that it has a title, which is called business ideas here. And this title is clickable. And when I click on business ideas, I see the thread of business ideas, which is a thread of thought, which are linked to uh, business ideas. So either I can create a new thought from within that screen and it will be linked to business ideas like we see on the little chip or uh, from anywhere outside from here, for example, I can just have a thought like uh, this is a great business idea and with it will analyze the text and probably link it. Yeah, it's finding business idea and it's linking it to the business ideas thread that I have here. And so when I tap on this business idea link, um, I find my thought about uh, this is a great business idea here. What is even more interesting is that from a specific thought that is inside a thread, so here it's the business ideas thread, if I want to uh, work deeper on a specific idea, so the one I've just created here, like uh, this is a great business idea. I can simply add a title to this one. So I don't know, it's just called great uh, business idea. And now it's creating a new thread starting from great business idea. And so we see that uh, it's also linked to business ideas, which uh, appears in that screen. But any thought now that I'm creating here will be linked to this new great business idea thread. I can say, okay, really great biz idea. And now it's linked to that one. All right, now, how do we create all, all those links? So there are three ways really to create the links. Uh, the first way, as I've shown, is to be inside a specific uh, thread or inside a specific uh, snapshot, like uh, this uh, meeting snapshot, and just create a thought from there, and it will be automatically linked to that snapshot or to that thread. And we can see it from the little chip here. The second way is uh, by using traditional uh, mention or tag. So for example, if I want to say, uh, discuss this idea with Matt, it's just fetching through my contacts and through my emails actually, and it will be linked to uh, Matt Slater. Similar for topics. So for example, if I want to say, uh, let's discuss about uh, crypto currency, okay then the cryptocurrency tag was extracted from uh, all the Wikipedia library. And this thought will be linked to Matt Slater and also linked to cryptocurrency. And the last way, uh, which is a bit the, the magic way, is just to let Vivid guess 
And so I could say, um, let's discuss this blockchain idea with Matt. And let's see if it's guessing some of the topics. Um, so I have first one blockchain idea. Okay, so I can take this one and then Matt will be Matt Slater. And now we have this thought linked to blockchain and Matt. Since this, since this block, the last one I've created, could also be seen as a task, actually. So uh, I want to discuss this idea with Matt. I can simply add a task like this. And it's now uh, recorded as a task. And I can see all my tasks in my inbox here. I, I see the last one I've created. Let's discuss the blockchain idea with Matt. And when it's done, I can simply tap on it and it disappears from my inbox. Uh, but of course, it's still in the timeline because in the timeline, Everything that uh, has been created ever uh, is always there, so you can always retrieve it with this uh, time axis. The last way to create content in Revit is to send content from outside. For example, assume I want to share a LinkedIn post. For example, uh, anyone, this one, okay. I can do just share via and then send it to Revit. And it's been added to my world and then Later, I can go back to Revit, go to my inbox, and anything I have sent can be found here. And then, of course, I can edit it, um, change the title if I want, and so on and so forth. La la la. Uh, since I've worked on the new content, it disappears from my inbox, so it's clean. And I can go back to my timeline, and I have this uh, new tweet. Uh, which is the beginning of a new thread called the La La La, and I can add anything to this thread, right host, on whatever. And this new thought is linked there. So it's really uh, following a Zettelkasten method with high connectivity between your thoughts. We let the user organize their thoughts by linking them to Wikipedia topics, persons, and events uh, from their integrations, uh, as well as uh, to any thread they have created. Uh, inside the app and they can also create a uh, small task. Now with it is not a uh, world garden, you can uh, export your data. Um, so for example, if you want to export this uh, whole thread of business ideas, you can simply tap on here and you can send it through WhatsApp or even send it to iOS notes, for example, and all the thread you have created simply appears as text. Uh, in a note and you can save it. So it's pretty easy to share your thoughts, your thread, uh, and anything that is in with it. So that's it for this quick tour. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Thank you very much.